can anyone find love in the Philippines? I would say yes. I would say... Is everyone capable of finding love in the Philippines? Is no. Um, a lot of people get in the wrong relationships because they don't think. Um, they don't step back. They don't look at the issues they're facing and the realization that they're with a bad person, for example, they will justify it. I've, I've sat in conversations with people saying she's ripping you off and they've turned around and said, ah, she, she's got family. Yes, she has got family, but it's not your family and she's stealing from you. Um, not everyone is capable of finding love. Um, they're capable of finding a person capable of finding those people that sit online 24-7 looking for a mug to rob blind but finding love takes time finding the right partner takes time and they're there they are there in the Philippines they, they, there are so many fantastic women there and a lot of them get bad press because of the bad women because you've got to understand if you're working um, five six days a week you're not on the internet very much. If you're a scammer or whatever, you're on the internet all day, every day, ripping people off left, right and centre. You're toxic. You're toxic to the web. You're toxic to Filipinas. You're toxic to the Philippines. Um, the reality is the good women are harder to find. And this is why if you're meeting people online, I also recommend spending time in country before you make any decisions um, because there's so many fantastic people. But the reality is, I think for most people, they could find love in the Philippines if they went there. I do think if they sat back and didn't make any decisions without sitting back, thinking about things and not doing anything on impulse, um, they would find a good partner a lifelong friend, a person who loves them, a person who cares for them, a person who wants to be with them. Um, there's so many fantastic women there, but I do think a lot of the women get a raw deal because of the scamming aspect, which comes from the trash that sits on the web making money all day. And people may justify it with poverty. There is no justification for manipulation and stealing. Um, Ask anybody relating to Cameroon's expenses and his offshore account. <laughs> um, yeah, because the reality is nobody just you can you can justify everything any way you like, but at the same time, this is what I was talking about when people find the wrong partner because they go, oh, she's like this, she's like that. Oh, it's not. I know she only stole a little bit. No, you don't know how much she stole. You, you don't want to admit it. It's the same as when I know people where they're partners have had affairs and stuff they will not acknowledge it even happened um, it's sad but at the same time they're in love with the woman but the woman doesn't love them but the key to it is finding the right person in the first place not rushing into things not to because the thing is you'll find somebody who matches you you'll find somebody that's got similar interests you'll find somebody that has more to offer than sitting, texting all day and engaging in nothing more than sexual intercourse. Um, but you've got to take your time. And the the point I'm making here is the guys, are a lot of it, they bring on themselves because they just go, pretty woman, she, she, she wants to have sexual relations with me. And then they don't connect all the dots relating to the finances. And the fact is this woman may actually be just trying to manipulate things for cash, for a visa, whatever. Um, but when you meet the real people, you don't even think about this stuff once things are real. Because it's very different. Uh, there was a story relating to, this is going back probably eight years ago. A woman arrived in the UK and she... she she got there and um, <laughs> got to the address and her husband had a heart attack. So he was in the hospital from day one when he, when she arrived. 
Now, bear in mind, she's in a country where she's never been. She was like literally arrived in the country, had to work out how to call an ambulance. Guy's been in the hospital for the last two weeks. And <laughs> the guy's like, I don't know what happened. You know, I can't believe it. He comes out and, you know, he's, you know, because she's looking after, you know, going to see him in the hospital and stuff. But he's still like, oh, my God, you know what? what about the pills what about this and in that two weeks she'd managed to find a job so she was working doing cleaning and other bits and pieces she was like refilled the house with the groceries and stuff like that cleaned the house top to bottom and was pretty much independent she didn't really need anything from him at all because at the end of the day he couldn't do anything anyway he was in the hospital with a heart attack that's one of the things that's amazing with nearly all the Filipinos I know, not just Filipinas, Filipinos, is they can be very, very resourceful. It's why they can turn, you, you see stuff on YouTube where they, they do some strange things, like spiders fighting. I don't know if you've seen that, but you can find YouTubes where they have a spider on a stick and the two spiders fighting. They're resourceful in finding stuff to do out of nothing. Um, but also making things, and I, I think this is the the beauty in thing. They see things from a different angle often, because we get so blinded by day to day life in the West, because everything involves a sheet of paper. Um, the governments like to wrap you in paper, keep you busy filling in forms and doing stuff that has a lot of consequence but very little relevance <laughs> you know in other words a lot of it doesn't need to be done it's a bit like um i was saying all, all your passport and everything's linked in the uk so they could probably do away with three quarters of the paperwork because they already know what you're doing and everything anyway so yeah but there's an amazing thing about the philippines and the women there and i would recommend getting on a flight and taking a bit of time out if if you're looking for a lifelong partner, you need to go and spend time there. Um, I wouldn't advise anybody doing anything just online. If they want to find a few people to meet first, then online's an easy way to do it. But I wouldn't just go, okay, I'm flying over on Friday, let's sort about getting married or whatever. I would say go and spend time with them. But also don't commit to anything. If you, you know, you want to go out there and experience the country first and also find out a bit more about the people um, the people you want to date or whatever and get a better understanding of everything All right, thanks for watching